right, another one of the bonus content videos here for your dungeon. So we're gonna add the ivy that's hanging down from the grates up above. And this process you've already done before when we brought in these walls over here. And that's just using an image as plain. And you can bring in figures into your scene. You can bring in anything that's too fussy to model, even though even built in with Blender, there's this ivy generator uh, add-on that you can turn on that you can kind of create three-dimensional ivy and trees and that kind of stuff. But in some cases, especially things that are gonna kind of be in the background or kind of out of the shot, like this ivy hanging down above, we just wanna give the sense that there's kind of like stuff in the scene. That's a lot easier to do and it'll render so much faster if you add it in now. And you can always add things in in Photoshop as well, but then you gotta color correct and all that kind of stuff. So it actually makes a lot of sense to add it in right now. So I'm gonna say Shift A to add in an image. And then I'm gonna go down and say Images Planes. Of course, you should have that turned on already, but if not, go to the Preferences and find the add-ons and turn on Images as Plane, Import, Export Images as Plane. Then I'm gonna go and select that and then open up the folder here. Now, if you're in the class, you can just download these files off the class website, but otherwise you can find these sort of things online. These are just groups of various IVs that I've made before. And you can see down here, there's the little character holding the lantern. He's flipped the other way in the scene over here, but the one that I originally found has a, had him on a white background, just as, just as a JPEG, right? So I brought him into Photoshop, uh, put it on a, an extra background, put it on a transparent background, and then erased all the white out of there, and then saved it as a PNG. So all of these things that have the alpha channel attached to them need to be on a PNG. There's a couple of the file formats that can bring in an alpha channel, but PNG is a pretty easy one. So I'm just gonna select my little clump of ivy over here, already saved as a PNG, already has an alpha channel. I'm gonna go ahead and say import image as plain. Now it's fairly small over here, so I'm just gonna sort of pull it up where we want. In fact, let me just switch over here to the material preview there so we're not um, seeing it in the dark. And I'm just gonna hit the hit the S key and scale it up now. That's fine. Now, I keep on telling you to scale things inside of edit mode. This is just one plane here. It's pretty, you know, that's, yeah, it's probably okay that we've just done that because all we're doing is just putting this in the scene here. So let's find a good spot for it there. Maybe something like that, maybe a little higher. It's up to you, kind of wherever you wanna move it around into the scene. But now we have this. But do be aware that when you first bring it in, if you recall from earlier on in the process here we need to go down to the settings tab over here and you want to switch from alpha blend which is taking like dark things in the scene and making them. that's what has this sort of like weird appearance right now the sort of ghostly appearance you want to pop this blend mode down to in this case i think alpha hash seems to work a little bit better for that if you move it over here to opaque you're just going to put it on a black background and all the invisible parts will just become black and we don't want that we want it to be either be in an alpha clip or in my case i think the alpha hashed does a little bit better job of kind of cutting it out of the background and that's going to make the dark spots in the scene opaque uh, but still leaving the invisible parts invisible which is what we wanted so make sure you do that also do be aware that you want the shadow if you want the shadow of this ivy to be cast you need to do the same thing alpha clip or alpha hashed here will allow light to pass through the transparent parts of the image and then cast a shadow that's great for a figure if you want to put a little figure of a person standing in your scene and you want that figure to have a shadow that's being cast well you definitely want to make sure that you're not using the, the the actual none or opaque there because that's just going to make the, the whole rectangle cast a shadow. So that's pretty much it. That's all you need to do. And you can bring in as many of these kind of things as you want. Add them to your scene. Um, it doesn't need to be just the ivy. Uh, anything you want to add to the scene that's that's you know too detailed or too fussy to add a million planes of geometry, you can bring in as an image as plane and just drop it into the image.